Great! Another list to torture me with, huh? <laughs> we watched over a hundred movies last year, and these, <laughs> these are the top 15 worst movies of 2019! Guys, it's that time. Get your drinks ready. Got some whiskey here. We got some beers. What are those? Some stouts. Stouts. Gotcha. Mm. Well, uh, this is the top 15 worst movies of 2019 that we <sighs> saw. We're doing this format again uh, because obviously I watch all movies with Alex and other Joe. They have their own lists. So I will be sharing the Angry Joe Show list with you and then at the end uh, presenting you their lists uh, quickly and we'll see uh, where we Which cross over and whose <laughs> list is better. Worst, best of yeah. the worst. Right? <laughs> um, and thank you to our Patreon and our YouTube join button. The people that support us directly, our mobile infantry, drink to the mobile infantry guys Huzzah. for making these extra videos possible this is really good you're welcome yeah thank you yo what kind of whiskey is this this is good uh, uh that's uh cast strength bourbon mm. and this is devout imperial milk stout with mm -hmm. mexican chocolate yeah, yeah good ratings it's delicious so I was like, well, let's try it it's gonna be okay. best part of this whole story. so yeah <laughs> let's do it guys we're gonna oh, jump God. right in here <laughs> and some of these you're gonna know some of them are gonna be surprises because remember we've seen about 80 to 100 films this year, or last year. So, let's jump right in. These are the worst films of 2019. Number 15. My coming in at number 15 was a film that I wanted to be good, but it just wasn't good Hellboy. It mm. was hilarious, laugh out loud, bad in parts, but surprisingly like, wait, no, good hilarious. in parts. No, it is hilarious at the Bad. end. The, okay. uh, I'm wondering if we should try to keep spoilers out of these top. No. Nope. Keep spoilers out of it. No spoilers. No spoilers. But no. you have to know that the, the CGI, uh, you know. It was amazing at the last bit. Oh, shit. No, it wasn't, Joe. There was two scenes of really cool CGI. Well, yeah, oh, it was. Well, uh, well, in the trailers. Well, I'm forgetting. The, the forgetting? giant monster yes, tr yes, trudging yes. That's not the last bit. Mm -hmm. The last bit but that ruins the film for me is the CGI on his father, okay? Oh, God. That's all I'll say. Okay, so you agree with me that that shit was disgusting and it was awful. This movie was oh, terrible. Dude. It's yes. fucking horrible. <laughs> Spit. And it's because I actually liked... The Ron Perlman ones. I mean, they got weaker as it went on, but I really like the the, yeah. the original Hellboy that we yeah. got, and I like David Harbor a lot, and yeah. all the stuff that he does. He seems like a really cool dude. Unfortunately, but this movie fucking sucked. It was not funny. It, it didn't. It, it, the comedy bits were not funny. The action bits were not actiony. And it looked fucking cheap, except for that yes. one CGI where all these demons start to come out. Best and part. they're like the cool looking, like they look like they're from different rings of hell, different yeah, Eldrazi rings of demons. Hell. And, and I'm like, what, where the fuck is that film? I want to watch that film. But the one good thing was the uh, Bab Babu Yaga or Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Uh, she was she was cool. Yeah, it's know, like they're like, like we can we can do Guillermo del Toro creepy stuff too. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, this was a great disappointment. Yeah. Huge disappointment. <laughs> Number fifteen on the worst films list. Number fourteen. All right, are you ready? This next film is uh, number 14, The Curse of La Llorona. La Llorona. Now, there is a story behind this mm. one. We actually filmed a movie well. review. <laughs> <laughs> we filmed a movie review of this one, but I held it for personal reasons because I realized last minute, I was like, no. No, let me go look. <laughs> and I had to text my family and they texted me back. They said, yes. <laughs> and I said, oh, shit. Turns out, guys, get this little factoid. <laughs> That's my cousin. La, La Llorona, Llorona <laughs> is my cousin. The actress that played La Llorona, Marisol Ramirez, is my cousin. 
Uh, and so I didn't want uh, initially to say anything bad, right? Because we railed on that film. Now, we surprisingly, did. we never talked. We never railed on her or mm -hmm. her performance. <laughs> She's been in other stuff, too. She's been in a lot of, like, crime TV dramas and things like that. So uh, it's not going to hurt her career. Uh, but and, and honestly, I thought that she did an all right job. She was she, That makeup they put on her was freaky deaky. And uh, it could have been way more cool. Me and Joe were excited because we know this we're like, oh, shit, we like, you don't want to. Oh, fuck. Yeah. This is going to be fucking cool. And on it, it had like maybe one good part. Uh, the car part was kind of mm, creepy. Yeah. But really, it just was not effective. It, it squandered <laughs> its concept. It felt like this lazy attempt to expand the lore. What was the attempt of integrating this into the Conjuring universe? Yeah, there was no reason. Zero. Money. Yeah. Zero reason <laughs> with the priest or something, some loose connection. It was awful. Mm -hmm. the, the ghost could do all sorts of ridiculous things, Very like bend consistent. time and space. And you're all like, right. and then you're like, oh, hey, she's walking towards me. It's like, we've seen her like be more powerful than Thanos. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> so what the fuck are we supposed to be afraid of right now? Right. Like, if she wants to kill you, you're dead. So I'm curious. I got I got to ask Mary Saul whether they're going to integrate La Llorona even more into the universe. Maybe they'll have another film. Because honestly, in, in terms of box office, it, it, it was a cheaper film to make. It didn't really bomb. No. So I don't know whether they're going to try to make another one or do like an Avengers of all the Conjuring well, monsters. We, we well, got it. I thought... I thought that's what they were gonna do with the one yeah. Yeah. Annabelle but comes home was supposed yeah. to be the the end the Avengers End Game of the Conjuring yeah, universe. Yeah, but you notice that that dress wasn't the dress of La Llorona or anything like that. No, the it was a different one. It was yeah. a different yeah, thing. Right. So it's I'm right. curious where they're going with this. <laughs> Unfortunately, La Llorona was executed very poorly and ends up on the top. Sorry, sorry, Mary. So okay, <laughs> uh, I think your career will be all right. Be cool. All right. <laughs> Anyways, so maybe at one point we'll release that review. I don't even know if I have the footage left. I might have deleted it. So anyways, yeah. that's a little we factoid and story for you. And I wonder if people are going to be upset when they realize that La Llorona is not uh, a Mexican actress. <laughs> She's more, uh, you know, Panamanian. And, uh, <laughs> it was born in the Panama Son Canal. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Puerto Rican little descent there. Yeah. All right. Anyways. That was it. La Llorona. Don't piss me off or I will send La Llorona to your door. For sure. Come for you he and your children. <laughs> I know her. <laughs> Number 13. So this next one, number 13, is literally the worst film on this list. It is unwatchable. It makes you cringe. And I cannot fucking believe that it got a sequel. This is a sequel of one of the worst mm. films of 2016 or 17. But I put it low on this list because it's like, all right, you know, the, the, the grade is already low. You know you're, this is awful. This is Norm of the North. Norm of the North got a fucking sequel, guys. I know you were never subjected to Norm of <laughs> no, the I North. No, I was not, luckily. But I put Luna through Lo Norm of the North because we were watching, we were trying to watch the worst films, and it, this is the worst animated film I have ever ever seen in my life it took us like two or three nights to finish it that's how bad it fucking Damn, was Damn, yeah it was been, pointless it was like awful that. the animation is terrible and norm of the north one was just the worst and they got a fucking sequel oh. and i could put it on this list because it was theatrically released in limited release Last year, though it's on Netflix right now. If you want to see, if you are, if your stomach is stone cold, if you are, <laughs> if you're this one guy. of the champions, <laughs> and you see if you can make it through Norm of the North two, I promise you, you will not be able to make through it because it is even worse. They had even less money, even worse graphics, and an even more pointless story than the original. Guys, do you have my attention? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I fucking <would> watch. <laughs> worst. <laughs> Moving on. Number 12. 
At number 12, I have Terminator Dark Fate. Now, while initially we came out of the theater and I said, you know what, there's some good parts of this film, good action, and, and I like it, and, you know, uh, six, seven out of ten, I fucked up. <laughs> I was wrong. And the more I sat on yeah, it, the you're more being I biased. Marinated. You even said it yourself. You're like, I'm being biased. I am being like, biased. Yeah. You know I'm a huge Terminator fan. And honestly, that's why this thing has dropped so low uh, and, and now is on my worst list because they fucked up the Terminator lore. I mean, they completely make Terminator 2 one of the best films of all time, you know, moot um, and pointless. And I just hate it. And... You know, not all the blame ha will go to the new director because it, it, it had James Cameron's blessing. In fact, James Cameron's, you know, pr approved the fact that, you know, what happens to John Connor happens to John Connor. They replaced Skynet with Legion, which is a worse version of Skynet with a worse future war aspect, which was always my favorite aspect. Terrible CGI. And terrible CGI. Awful actors. They, they make the Terminator... Yeah, it's a funny throwaway joke, but they make the Terminator an inter interior decorator. It's, it, yeah, T-1000. I mean, could, T could you imagine like a, like a reunion of all the Terminator films and all the Terminators come in the room and, and you got Carl here showing up the interior <laughs> decorator? And, and I was like, God damn, man, I just didn't like it. Uh, you know, T-1000 was, was, you know, fascinating to watch, but... A pale comparison oh, to yeah. the T-1000 and just generic Miles overall. Apart. Now, while I fucking loved Linda Hamilton cursing like a sailor, like this old, you know, grandma just going to just fucking destroy anything that she sees. And, and, I, and her performance really <laughs> held the film together and a lot of the comedy held the film together. But you fucking ruined it. You fucking destroyed Fucked it. Fucked it up. It was bad. <laughs> it was super, super bad. Joe. And what else do you have Trash. to say? I mean, it's just the action scenes weren't very good. They tried to hit some of the same story beats that they did before. Only I, worse. It was, just, it was T2 worse. But, but, but worse in, in every way. And I, I don't know. It's just I don't even want to speak about it because it's on my list. It's but on my it's, list okay. as well. And you know all what? Right. I'm proud of you that all 15 of the movies aren't Star Wars for on your list. <laughs> <laughs> I was considering it. All right, guys. So that's Terminator Dark Fate. Number Eleven. Next, The Lion King at number eleven. This film is fucking pointless. Trash. Did nothing. It's fucking pointless. I don't know if it's trash. It's trash. It's trash. Yeah, there's. It's trash. Yeah. Like you have an animated series. It's one of the greatest fucking animated films of all time. That uh, the emotion that that film makes you feel. This film has zero emotion. It has zero emoting. Uh, the expressions that you get from the cartoon version, mm -hmm. and you can see the expressions on the characters' faces. The villainous scar, the, the Simba. There, there's just it's great, and they fucked it up. And not only did they fuck it up, but they started in So they basically redid the animation only worse. They started cutting down some of the best fucking songs, abbreviating them so that they can have time to put in pointless scenes of, I don't know, fem women are powerful too. Fem feminist agenda. We have to make sure that she gets her part. That in, in just It just felt pointless. Um, Rakishi is, uh, you know... A, a lesser version of him, uh, Rikishi. What's his name? I was like, that's a wrestler. That's with a, a big wrestler. Butt. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> Rafiki. <laughs> Rafiki. <laughs> I was like, why did you yeah. say Rafiki? <laughs> <laughs> it's a worse version Rafiki. of himself is what I was going to say. And I, yes, he was. They cast Rikishi in, in Lion King. <laughs> I would have loved to see that. No, <laughs> right, I'm but, with you there, man. They fucking butchered the trio, yeah. the hyenas. The comedy oh. was gone. How can you mess that mm -hmm. up? Come on. And then, like, the emotions with uh, James Earl Jones weren't there at no. all. Mm -hmm. You could tell big time. Yeah, so, I mean, John Favreau had an incredible year with The Mandalorian, and everyone was singing his praises. And I don't know if it's his fault or someone at Disney that said, I'm going to say it's Disney's Disney, fault. Yeah. So someone had to make the decision. It's like, how can we take... Simba over the body of Mufasa and suck all of the emotion out. Oh, we'll give them, make it so they have like realistic faces. It's like, 
And so, yeah. like, that how? falling scene. It looks it's so embarrassing. awkward. It's embarrassing to watch. Yeah, you you took one of the movies that probably one of the highest rated films in the 90s, mm-hmm. uh, especially for children's films, and then you did nothing with it and you ruined it. Yeah, and, and this is the uh, sign of, uh, uh, you know, creatively bankrupt uh, Disney uh, with their own properties. Thankfully, they let Marvel do their own thing. Thankfully, uh, and maybe poorly, they let Lucas Arts do their own thing. <laughs> uh, but they, uh, in their own properties, they're just rehashing everything and um, for the most part doing it worst, at least in 2019, because this ain't the only one on my list. Mm-mm. All right? So that's The Lion King, but there's an even worse one. All right. Number 10. At number 10, now we're getting into the nitty gritty here. These are the real bad ones. I've got Gemini Man. Yeah. (sighs) Terrible. Awful. Awful. Interesting and great CGI from time to time on that, the face, mm. but awful CGI I say, others. <laughs> I was going to say, like, some of the CGI was terrible. Some of the CGI was good. They were using 10-year-old technology, so they had the opportunity to use the de-aging software, which we know works amazingly. Like, Marvel's used it really well. We've seen Netflix use it really well. And they decided to put balls all over Will Smith's face and do, like, the motion capture thing, which is why it looks like... And that was their whole, that, that was their whole gimmick thing. Their whole, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, check it out. It's going to be amazing. It's gonna, yeah, it's going to look... It's gonna, you can't tell Trash. the difference between the two of them. It's like, you absolutely can't. He looks like a bad uh, the whole time, video game character. You're distracted the whole time. The story itself is rather boring. There's one good, one good action scene where he uses a motorcycle against a car or something, and you're like... This film film feels like it's 10, 20 years old. It's it's mm-hmm. weird. Yeah, <laughs> it could. Yeah. It feels from a different era and a bore. It just it's boring. It's uh, disappointing, uh, and it's a flop. It, it yep. was not very good. And uh, that's all I got to say about that. Yeah. Will Smith, who usually can pull it out with his charisma, so did an all right job. But there's just not much there. Number nine. Number nine, this is a film that I had to watch recently to fill out uh, my list, and it definitely shot up there. The Fanatic. I skipped this one. John I watched Travolta. it. It's not on my list, but like. What? It's not on my list, but like. Of course, Joe likes this film. It was just like. One of those so bad, bad it's good. Th- yes. Okay, I will give you yes. so bad it's good, but because it's so bad. I have to put it on this list. Yeah, because like obviously, but I'm I will different. say <laughs> it can kind of get into some good territory. John Travolta's performance so in this, weird. you know, I'm not. I'm. Uh, this is the age of political correctness, so I might have to beat the. Uh, I'm gonna bleep this out. But you know how they say, uh, never go full. Re- uh, well, John Travolta went full. Re- we yeah, he went simple Jack is what we're going to say. Mm-hmm. So he went full simple jack. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and he went uh and it, it and it's really really cringy <laughs> to watch the, yeah. because <laughs> it it feels more like he's mocking them than than I just didn't buy him as it, you know? Oh, no. And it if you horrible. don't buy it then it feels disingenuous. It feels like it's mocking people. It, it it's just very cringy to watch. And it's like a fucking hour 40 minutes of this it's really bad pointless scenes there's well, there's drawings in the film that come out of nowhere i, I don't understand it's it. the director fred durst oh my god that's right <laughs> limp biscuit directed the film and yep. you know what's funny what is yeah. at one point it has nothing to do with anything one of the the main antagonist is in the car e- driving like his tr- son yeah. to to school and he goes yeah, this Lip song biscuit. is so good, Lip yes. Biscuit, right? Oh, you like this shit, don't you? You know you like this. He's literally telling the audience to forcibly like Limp Biscuit. It's 2019, yeah. and he's playing a song that's like 15 years old and playing uh. it like it just came out. And I was like, oh, this is so this is my bad. Gym. <laughs> So anyway, John, Tra- this actually is a film that I would recommend you go see. <laughs> see, <laughs> that's what didn't make my list because it was bad. Like, I think it's the free, dialogue. It's he says free on so Amazon Prime right yes, now. Yes, it is. It if is. you have Amazon Prime, it. you can go watch it. Yes, and we, me and Joe, recommend it. you watch it. It's so bad, it's good. <laughs> it's one of my recommendations, and you know uh, my recommendations. <laughs> okay, so that was. The, this is probably the only so bad it's good on my list. Uh, the rest, don't fucking watch. Uh, or challenge yourself with Norm of the North. All right, so that is number nine, The Fanatic. Number eight.
Number eight is a Netflix film. I told you not all Netflix films score uh, a hit, and this one did it. Well, it's on Netflix, but I, I'm not sure if it was Netflix original. It's Polar. Polar starring Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, it's a Netflix. This guy, I fucking love him. I love his performances. There's this one uh, cowboy uh, type film he's in I loved. I loved, uh, you know, uh, his work in Death Stranding. I, lo- I just love him as an actor, but here it is cringe, man. They are forcing him so hard to be like a John Wick or to be like an action star, but it is... So cheap, so poorly done. The story is so boring. Uh, they have uh, some, uh, you know, people dress up in the most ridiculous costumes, and and <laughs> it's just, it's awful. It's like an asylum film that somehow Mads Mikkelsen was tricked into being. Isn't the story on the surface? Doesn't it sound cool? So I think our buddy yes. Matt was telling me about it and he said, hey, there's this movie. I'm going to watch it today. It sounds amazing. Mads Mikkelsen's in it. Yeah. It's about assassins. All this like really yeah, cool it things. It is about assassins. And then, and then the trailer he shows like this cool thing where he's got like these guns controls these guns via his fingers and shit and then he like, to- that's the only cool part and then he told me the next day he's like do not watch this it's, Dude, it's, it's terrible it's awful yeah and, and this is what happens when you have a director who doesn't know what they're doing uh, a script <laughs> that is god awful uh, a, a budget that can't handle what it's trying to do and a costume designer that is literally on drugs and and, and in a bad <laughs> way okay because some not the creative way but the you know man I, I need to just whatever put it together I'm put all my money towards drugs Mask, mm-hmm. and the it. money that's left over yeah. we're gonna put <laughs> yeah, costumes their, their on. birthstone yeah. is a crack rock yes yeah. so do not watch Polar it's fucking awful and you'll go through what his <laughs> friend went through if you yeah. watch both hey, either of you see polar no no okay, Matt. So a lot of Matt movies, warned me a lot of movies on my list that y'all haven't seen that was poland number seven Next on the list at number seven is fucking Child's Play. When you remake something, when you reboot something, you better bring something worth it. And unfortunately, bringing Chucky into the digital age did not work. I hated it. Uh, so did I. I was so happy when they're when they're like, well, we're going to bring in Mark Hamill. We're going to try to do this weird thing. And then I heard yeah. the very next sentence where it's like, oh, it's not voodoo. It's not murder. It's just an AI that goes wrong. And then they, they ruined it. And then the story is bad where it's just like one disgruntled guy in Vietnam gets mad and he just like, oh, I'll turn the doll to kill with one button. It was fucking stupid. And it was just really, really dumb. They did nothing with with the, the plot, the characters. I wanted it. It's another one of those movies where it's like, I want him to win. I want everyone in this movie to, to die. die. And I want the movie to end. Yeah. yeah. Like, as soon as the, the whole voodoo thing got turned out, I was like, well, I'm done. Because, like, what what is this? A robot with cheap parts from Vietnam or wherever that's going to be strangling people? How? It's yeah. cheap parts. Rip it apart. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could say that about it's the Chuck supernatural. Doll, but it's su- voodoo. Yes, exact, no, voodoo exactly. Powers. It's got voodoo. Demon you could strength. explain it away. Right. Yeah. But they didn't go that angle. And and it, it, they cheapen it. And Big I, time. I love Mark Hamill. I think he did an all right job as him. I still prefer Brad Dwarf. Uh, uh, Brad. Uh, uh, I Brad can't say his something. name. Yes. Last name. But uh, I think he did a better job as Chucky. And I just didn't like it. And. Going the digital age, it was eye rolling, it was tropey, and it was pointless. You got your badass Child's line. Fucking this sucks. is for Tupac. Remember? Yeah, it was. This Stop was it. No. Stop it. <laughs> <Go away. laughs> number six. All right, number six is going to be Dark Phoenix, uh, Dead Franchise Walking, the last film in the Fox X Men era. Stop. Um, it was stop. Yeah. terrible. <laughs> they, uh, need <laughs> they need to stop, and they are stopping. Well, because they're no longer a company. Yeah, they're, they're well, done. actually, no, they're well, not they stopping. They got the new mutants coming, right? In the in is that, it the same universe though? I think so. Oh God, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. I, I think it is, but. Let's talk about this film. Um, From the people that didn't learned absolutely nothing from X-Men Apocalypse, they brought yeah. you this one that they had to refilm and reshoot, then rewrite, yeah. then reshoot. And if you think that that would make a messy, pointless film, they were absolutely, uh, you're absolutely right. Yeah, this Boring. is another one kind of like a Fantastic Four. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> There's k- killing off characters that, that we like and... 
boring and uh, pointless. Well, they and- took characters that we do like and we do know over you know from forty years. Like so, that Professor X is an asshole. Like a lot of this movie, right? And you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, his no. motivations are kind of fucked up, and and it's Phoenix just- can't contain it. Yeah, I, I can't contain it. Uh, you know, dumb moments. Uh, you know, Ma- of those. Mag- Magneto does some cool things in it, but the climactic fight, it's like, what? These power levels are all over the place. You're showing that people can do stuff. At one point, motherfucking Storm throws ice cubes at somebody. I mean, that's that's. I can film. do that. She literally <laughs> yeah. throws ice cubes at somebody. Come on. <laughs> when in the last scene, she did a fucking storm to electrocute a bunch of damn people. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, this is <laughs> stupid as shit. And it, the action was stupid. The story was stupid. The acting was awful. And it was pointless. And everybody noticed it. And it fucking flopped. And yeah. it got nominated for a couple of Razzies. And so, like, Jessica Chastain, who's normally an amazing actress, got nominated for Razzie because the God character they, they wrote her was so bad right. that she just was horrible. Mm-hmm. Just a stupid message in the film, too. Okay, anyway, I'm done with it. I'm not talking about it anymore because <laughs> it was just a piece of shit. And it should be forgotten <laughs> right away. Number five. Next on the list, unfortunately, he was on the top 10 best movies, top 15 best movies, but he's also on the top 15 worst Adam. movies. Keanu oh, okay. Reeves mm. in the rep or no replicas. Replicas was that awful. Movie was so dull, I forgot. It, it exi- existed. Like, yeah, I was like, "Holy oh, shit!" Joe, so I was is making that the my list. Beginning of the year mm-hmm. in 2019, you left it off your list. No, it's on my list because okay. I was like, "Holy shit, we did see it." I forgot about it. I was like, yeah, "So that's, forgettable, exactly. so boring." A low rent, <laughs> low budget version of the Terminator, uh, mixed with a, a, a grieving father who wants to, you know, bring his family back, but the writing awful, the budget not sufficient the uh acting poor i don't know if keanu was uh, sleeping through this one or cashing in a he did it as a friend i thought right because it's the the director is like a friend of his or something yeah Yeah, well he should have put in more effort for his friend because even keanu is sleeping through this and honestly it's just a it's awful and i did not like it it's a bore and it was a bore what's worse is when a film is dull and boring and bad but not in a fun way like The Fanatic. So yeah. that's why The Fanatic is lower <laughs> on this list and Replicas is higher yeah. because there's literally no redeeming value. And finally, when you see The Replica, it, it is so you know jittery that it's like, what the fuck? Is this 30 years ago? Are we doing <laughs> stop motion animation here? And then the, uh, the sort of twist that they do at the end, you're like, oh, my God. Why? This is so cringy. Yeah, one good. It's just boring. Did I think you see it? Yeah, okay. it just was not good. <laughs> All right, moving on then. Number four. All right, number four on the list is another Disney film. Uh, Disney, uh, while they are remaking a lot of their films and doing some of them all right they, and fucking up the other ones, mm-hmm. this is a huge fuck up Dumbo. I hated it. Dumbo was pointless. Hated it. Hated it. The story was was just not awful. focused on Dumbo. The best character Dumbo is like took a backstage I'm, to the kids. I don't give a shit about these kids. Yeah. Or show me Dumbo. Exactly. He was amazing. You did great with the CGI. The stupid fucking park thing and that. it was about how Disneyland is an asshole. Like yeah. how how did they let Tim Burton make this movie? And he did include w- creepy trees because you know he can only do one Tim fucking Burton thing. Tim Burton and his fucking candy cane style uh, art and shit. Day. Yeah. This is one of Tim Burton's worst films. Uh, you know, it's pointless. It doesn't really have a message. It's mu- well, the message is what Alex said, and it's like, what? What's going on here? I wanted, uh, I wanted more with Dumbo, and <laughs> I didn't really get it. And they changed the story for worse. I mean, this is an, a short, relatively short animated film, so maybe that's why they felt the need to put in all this other shit. But the other shit that they injected didn't work, and because the film was so short. They even changed the short parts in the film Mm -hmm. to make it worse. It's like, so you couldn't even do the short uh, animated feature right when you're redoing it. And then you inject all this other fucking awful garbage that none of us needed. Um, You know, 
Colin Farrell. I f- forgot he's even in the film. Anybody <laughs> could have play, fucking played that part. Uh, Danny DeVito is uh, probably the only good one, uh, and they kind of buffed up his role a little bit uh, to make him. I mean, they got a good cast. Keaton. Michael Keaton's great. Yeah. Eva Green's great. Mm-hmm. They just had nothing to work with. I the, didn't the like Eva terrible. Green's character. She's like. She was Dumbo. an asshole. She's being a fucking jerk to Dumbo, trying to like, get your fucking ass off, Dumbo. It's like, Let me ride you. It's like, leave her alone, and bitch. Hitting Dumbo. <laughs> with but her legs. there was one Cut scene where she just be automatically becomes a good guy, and mm. they're like, we're not going to explain why, but she's a good guy now. So stupid because she presents her like she's a bitch villain, and I'm like, no, she's still a bitch villain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you hit Dumbo. Anyway, How dare fu- you? Fuck her. Fuck Dumbo. Fuck that film. Uh, go watch the original. I would watch the original twice, and you could probably watch the original twice in the time. For Take you your time with that uh, to to watch this new remake, which was pointless and awful. You fucked it up, Disney. Number three. Speaking of Disney fuck ups, uh, they fucked up the ending, the conclusion to the Skywalker saga. I didn't think you can get any worse than the Last I'm Jedi. Get comfortable. But Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker <laughs> is one of the worst films that I have seen. And what makes it so bad? The pacing is shit. The story is shit. They they they, they give uh you know. Uh, this Mary Sue, a backstory that doesn't make any fucking sense and comes out of nowhere. They they somehow fuck up the Emperor. Now, Ian McDermott <laughs> did a great job with what he was given, but the Emperor, the power levels, the 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 uh, inconsistencies. The <laughs> It's and and he can't he start once he starts peeing he can't stop <laughs> no. once he starts lightning he can't stop. <laughs> there are so many contrivances tropes. Uh, uh, nonsensical moments. The motivation uh, for the rebels. And, and them coming out of nowhere yeah. in this deus ex machina and relying a Jim, uh, not Jim, a J.J. Abrams mystery box storytelling amplified to an out of control degree by Chris Terrio's terrible fucking writing. The writer for Batman v Superman and Justice League comes over here and fucks up as a stealth. He stealthily snuck in here and made a not very good J.J. Abrams even worse at, by all of his shitty fucking storytelling. And he ruined the ending of fucking Star Wars. They sh- <laughs> The fucking Raylo <laughs> uh, fan, uh, you know, oh, appeasement, man. which, by the way, the Raylo fans fucking hated the film. This is a case of should. trying to please everybody and pleasing exactly no, no one. one except for morons that will accept anything Star Wars on the screen. None of the fucking plot lines were fulfilled. Nobody was given a satisfying story. And the new Disney trilogy is essentially killing all of the legacy characters and shitting all over their fucking legacies. Anakin, the prophecy is about obtaining peace for... 10 years, but not really obtaining peace because the fucking Palpatine is alive and well. That, that Palpatine wins! And it, what? This this whole fucking C- Skywalker tri- is, saga is not about the Skywalkers. It's about the Palpatines. Strike me You've down. You've literally <laughs> reversed all the good shit that the originals built up. I would rather watch the prequels. The only good Disney Star Wars film uh, in the Skywalker trilogy is The Force Awakens. Yes, they redid some of the original, but that's why it was good, because they're retelling the original and then leaving the door open with these great characters. What they did with Finn is a a fucking crime. He screams Ray the whole fucking film. They could have done something so interesting (laughs) with the Stormtrooper. I don't want to turn this into an hour-long film. Fuck that film. It sucks. I agree. It does suck. You destroyed Star Wars, and I want them to move on. And and, and I, it makes me distrustful of Disney. I want Kathleen Kennedy, who oversaw this. I need her to exit because she uh, she I mean, just delayed Obi Wan. She's not going anywhere. How dare you not have a fucking plan from the beginning? And it was quite clear they didn't have a plan from the beginning. The leaked scripts from uh, Col- uh, Colin Trevorrow's uh, original plan was better in many aspects than what we got here. Um, and could have been a much better film. So I, we, you really fucked up one of the greatest stories ever told, and you fucked up one of the greatest characters ever in Luke Skywalker. 
That's all I have to say about Rise of the Skywalker. I think these guys agree with me. Yeah, <laughs> ditto. We did a two uh, and a half hour long video. If you want to hear us, bitch <laughs> yeah, and about I can it. go even longer. Oh so. yeah. Now, do, do I want the Disney to be uh, relieved of the Star Wars franchise? No, I do think that if they get the right creative people like John Favreau, Taika Waititi, uh, Taika Waititi uh, Deborah Chow, give them control. And, and stop letting Kathleen Kennedy, who it's been proven that she didn't like Colin Trevorrow's take, even though it was better, and proven to be meddling in everything, <laughs> it, get her out of the way, and then we'll be good with Star Wars. The direction they're going with this High Republic instead of going Old Republic, I'm worried about, but I do want them to do their own story, and maybe with their own story, they will do a better job than trying to do justice to these characters, which literally they just killed off and did uh, injustice to. Oh. Oh, yeah. Moving on. What could be worse than that, right? Let's find out. Number two. Number two. Worst film of 2019 is Cats. El Gatos. Yes. <laughs> Guys, Cats was literally visual diarrhea. It was so funny. Sometimes diarrhea is funny, though. Like, this wasn't even no, funny. This was, this no, was, this was the diarrhea that you have where your stomach hurts and you can't get off the pot and you just want to die. Di die. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just die. kill me. Kill I me now. I could not believe I put myself through this film and didn't walk out because I should have. I was really wanting to walk out. You cannot walk out. It was awful. It's impossible. There was, like, <laughs> one good song, maybe, and I was like, this just, it feels off. Maybe the Broadway was better. I don't understand how the cats is this popular if this is what the storyline is. It's literally people announcing, I am Angelical Cat. I do this. Next. I'm the, and, and, oh, 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 it's my turn. Hey, I'm another cat and I do this. And here, ooh, here, look at my fucking private parts and my pussy and my furry. And then do you want to masturbate to this film? No. There's some creepy ass fucking shit in this yeah, film. My uh. biggest question is why? Yeah, Rebel Wilson and James Corden, Why? one of the worst parts of the film. Idris Elba, what's wrong with you, man? Fire your agent, bro. <laughs> that was big. That was Hopefully awful. they got paid. And and what's funny is uh, they come over into the Oscars dressed up as cats. James making Corden, fun of their... Making fun of the visual effects. It was a funny joke, uh, but I think that studio got shut down, or maybe that was a different studio that got shut down. The, the studio that did the Sonic uh, Hedgehog visual effects got shut down. I think it had something to do with this studio, but... Guys, um, cats, awful story. Don't don't even once. So the story <laughs> has always been awful. Like I, I've seen the musical a couple times, and it's always awful. It's fucking weird. It's based on like a sh real short story, and they did a bunch of coke in the eighties, and then they wrote this. <laughs> there is one good song. They even screwed that up in here because the one memory? good song, yeah, memory, right? Memory. Memory's supposed to be sung I didn't by really like like, it. like a really old beat up like she you know she's supposed to be having memories of when she's young and beautiful well they cast a young beautiful woman to play the old yeah. ugly cat and so well, I've, I've heard the song memory before and i do like it but here i was like no no the whole thing was a shit show yeah, it, was. It, it was one of the worst things i have ever seen not just last year have ever seen yeah and there were times where I wanted to leave. If we weren't there to review the movie, and it was kind of... We forced him to see it yeah. because... These guys were so fucking excited. Because it's they were going to do an upgrade. A we fucking had, upgrade. They, they, they upgraded right, the movie had, after the movie was released. So we had to run out and see it so we could see the original version. Because they, the Still movie trash. was so bad, they had to update the visual effects because some characters had hands, some Floating. had paws, some had feet, some had paws. Shoes. There was like, yeah, some people had like weird. It was just terrible. It was everything about this yeah. was terrible. Uh, the cockroaches dancing, Rebel Wilson's part was horrifying. And <laughs> Which is was eating the human. Yeah, like, it's literally a fever dream. It was somebody's fever dream, and and maybe. Why? A kinky, Why? Uh, you know, fetish or something. I don't know. I hated it. Everybody was, I was just, everybody shut up. Just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted it to end. And it finally ended, and that was the best part of the film, guys. But one of the worst things I've ever saw. I would rather watch Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker again. Because there are some good moments here and there. I, I love Adam Driver and his storyline and it, when he meets his dad again and it's just I think that, you know, this is mm -hmm. you know, it's you could wa you can get through Star Wars fine. But when you think about Star Wars, then you're like, "Ah, oh, fuck." <laughs> All right. So, 
But what could be worse than that? Right? I don't know. Yet. What, what is worse? What There's is something worse, worse than, than that. that. Number one. <sighs> Guys. To the top of the list. <clears throat> the worst. The worst fucking film in 2019 that was released and that we saw is uh, I like to watch uh, A24 movies. These are it's indie hit films. Miss for me, yeah. yeah, they're hit or miss. They're indie films. It's like studios like Neon and A24. They tell some really interesting, fascinating stories with some style and substance mm -hmm. and, and interesting cinematography and direction. They're out there. This is, you know, this is cinema. This is like interesting stuff. Well, just like Joe said, some of them can be hits, like, you know, The Lighthouse, and some of them can be absolute fucking garbage. Just <laughs> fucking garbage. Awful, just a waste of celluloid film or digital film, and that film is Climax. Ooh, Climax. I it. paid money for fucking Climax, and this is basically two hours of people screaming at the top of their lungs, acting like they're on drugs, and these people apparently have never been on drugs, but it's basically people overacting. Ah! 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 <laughs> Two hours of this. <laughs> we're, we're happy we didn't, we didn't go. I don't pay for climaxes. Because <laughs> there's dancing. They're a fucking dance They're troupe. They're gyrating. <laughs> and somebody spikes the punch, and that's the film. The film is... That's it. That's it. They're, they're <laughs> fucking dancing. They're crazy, stupid fucking dances. And I, I, I went to this film, and I was so excited to get it on VOD and watch it with my girl. And we were like... This was literally the worst thing we've why ever seen. Why didn't somebody just unplug the jukebox? This yeah. is one of the <laughs> worst things we've ever seen, and we forced ourselves through it because it's like we paid fifteen dollars yeah. for this shit. As I feel sometimes, like I already started. I have to finish. <laughs> it, guys, you you think if you can get through Norma the North too, see if you can get through fucking climax. I promise you, you're not going to be able to get through it, and you will be physically angry by the end of it. It is so annoying. It is like you know. Like girls that scream at the top of their lungs and they're like trying to overact, mm -hmm. or you know, drama school. You're like, you are not a good actor. Please stop overacting and doing that. The, it, this is two hours of that, and it is the most annoying thing I've ever seen. The director thinks he's so profound. He plays with colors. Smells he his flips, own farts. Smells his own farts. He flips <laughs> the camera upside down. He tries to disorient you, and it does. It does disorient you in the negative way. It it, it makes you want to vomit. It makes you want to puke. And I, gu I guess he wanted the audience to, you know, feel as physically bad as his characters were supposed to be acting in the he film. He did it with a bad movie. It's awful. Awful. Worst film I've seen in decades. Okay, Climax. nobody go watch it. Spoil it for me. What the fuck happens at the end? Everybody just go crazy. It goes crazy. They die? A few people die. Uh, but not the people you think, not the people you want. Uh, and a few people die. And that's it. It just ends. I'm telling you, it's so fucking what insulting. Fuck? It can't even give you a satisfying <laughs> uh, conclusion. Uh, they just wake up the, the, next, the next day because, uh, you know, police show up and they let people out. And, and that's it. And it's like, what the fuck? Okay, well, well thank you. people die. Some people die. Thank you for going through it. Yes, it was yeah. fucking awful. <laughs> and just the character motivations are all over the place people screaming and yelling at each other and it's awful okay Jeez. anyways so that is the worst film of 2019 guys if you've Brave seen soul. any <laughs> of these films or all of these films may god have mercy on your soul you are one tough motherfucker uh so i want to see uh these guys list now we'll go okay. through these quickly uh, number 15 for me is The Lion King. Mm -hmm. They didn't do anything new. Was, uh, I guess the best thing was Timon and Pumbaa. Yep. They did an okay job. Number 14, It Chapter 2. You started off on such a good note. And uh, then on the second on the one, worst yes, what are you going to do? It was just off You have a big list. head. You, you're you stupid. Oh, what are you guys doing? Yeah, they bullied to him to they death. They bullied him. That's <laughs> true. Come on. Bullying works. dumbest thing <laughs> okay, ever. You're right. You're right. <laughs> All right, <laughs> 13, Terminator. Mm. They ruined a lot of yeah. the fucking stories. 12, Annabelle Comes Home. I was 
kind of thinking, oh, let's do uh, the Avengers thing. Everyone's yeah. going to be there. They, no. they no. tricked us with the Warrens. Mm-hmm. They were there for like two seconds. Two seconds, And yeah. then they left her Insulting. home alone. Bullshit. Number 11, Hellboy. That was trash. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of knew it was going to be trash because Mila is in it. And she's not in a lot of good movies. Alone, she's like great, it. yes. Yeah. but she, She's yes, in a lot of trash. She's, a lot of, she's in a lot of trash. 10 is a Child's Play. Didn't do anything. Uh, w- waste of time. Waste of time. And waste of talent, too, with uh, Mark Hamill. Number nine, Dumbo. Mm-hmm. It's fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, Gemini Man. Another waste of time. Terrible CGI. Terrible story. Yep. Seven, La Llorona. Mm, you that ruined. was way up there. <laughs> yeah, because that is what my parents would do to try to scare me. I was like, oh, that's going to be cool. Let's see what they do. Their take was garbage. The only, the Waste. good, the best part in it was Marisol. Yes. My, my cousin. That was the best part because I don't want her to come after me. <laughs> <laughs> the curse of La Llorona. Number six was Replicants. I forgot about that movie, yeah. and it was just a bore. Yes. Yeah, so it's like in the middle, whatever. Forget about it. Number five, I have it. Uh, I, it should be lower, but, like, it's playing with fire. And it's more of a kid's movie. It's These terrible. guys watched it on the plane yeah. when it is we went to LA. It is terrible, but I gave it a little bit of a curve because it's meant for kids. Okay. No, yeah, I, I don't know. But I don't it was not so funny. You could say that about Dumbo. No, fuck it. That <laughs> that film was fuck. Uh, I didn't well, see it. That's one night. It was well, trash. Dumbo was kind of nostalgic because we seen okay. it. Back in the day. But yeah, uh, it was terrible, terrible acting. There's no funny jokes. It's John Cena. John Cena, John Leguizamo. Which John Leguizamo. Him. Yeah, he's, he's good. But And this one is terrible. Jacob's Ladder, number four. How Man, dare you remake this? The first one was amazing. This was hot garbage. Yeah, I didn't even see it. I, I saw it. I was like, because I, I heard they were going to make a remake about yeah. it. I saw it on Netflix. I was like, I'm going to check it out. I was pissed off by the time it ended. I was like, this was a piece of shit. Number three, The Haunting of Sharon Tate. I didn't see it. It looks so bad. I that didn't looks like that's so another look. low. You saw I that, saw it. Joe? Yeah. Low budget of low it budget was. of low budget. It was. It was terrible. And who Lizzie was McGuire. Hillary Duff. Lizzie McGuire. It's Hillary Lizzie Duff. McGuire. <laughs> that's what she's Oh, my is. God. Terrible acting. Yeah. Terrible story. Isn't it, like, insulting? Like, because that's the same was. director that did, like, this OJ film. And it, it's, like, it actually taking real life events and ins- and doing some really disgusting uh, shit and really, I mean, y- you yeah. should be treating that material a little better than But they that. didn't. They did not treat this well at all. It was terrible. Yeah. Everything about it, it was a waste of time. My number two is Dark Phoenix. Wow. Like it. Yeah. M- higher than Sharon Tate, Joe. Yeah. Yes. Why is that shit so high? Because There's I no grew way up you with knew the fucking was... X-Men. All right. And I fucking <laughs> love them. And how dare you just <laughs> drag them through shit. <laughs> <laughs> And right. drag them through the sewer. <laughs> That's what they did. And my number one is Cats. Cats. Mm. That is my... Uh, I, I can't believe that's one of them I almost walked out on because it was so bad. I kind of did. I went to go get another beer. I was like, yeah. all right, I need another fucking drink. <laughs> I sat down with so two I beers and went left to go get another Yeah, he was smart. Kind of, I was right. on. I was like, all right, I'll take two. All right, some <laughs> different films for me. I'm interested. Okay, go. Uh, 15 is Terminator. 14, Child's Play. Then Lion King, uh, replicas. No, char- no, okay, give me the number. Fifteen. Then- it's Terminator. Yeah. Fourteen is Child's Play. Mm-hmm. Thirteen is Lion King. Twelve is Replicants. Eleven is Charlie's Angels. Uh, I didn't see that. So it's one that we skipped, but I ended <laughs> up watching, and it is not good. Yeah. It is everything about this is not so good. It's directed by Elizabeth Banks, and yeah. she was like, "The only reason why I didn't do well is because men." No. So the the, the, <laughs> the first Charlie's Angels that they made with you know tra- um, yes, Cameron Diaz, I liked it. Those that the first one was was really good, right? Yeah, they they those. knew what it was. Oh, they had those fun were with bad it. because they were objectifying women. Mine doesn't. The the second one they made was was pretty bad. This one that they remade was worse in every way than the 
second Charlie's Angels. Mm-hmm. So it was terrible. Ten is Annabelle comes home, hugely disappointing. We were supposed to have, you know, the the yeah. dynamic duo there <laughs> and this giant room full of ghosts, yeah. and none of them did anything. It was just horrible and stupid. I forgot about that. Um, nine was the the Curse of My Sharona. It was absolutely <laughs> ga- garbage. What what number? Uh, nine. Okay. Eight was a movie called Anna, which goes to show that Luc Besson did like one and a half good movies, and he's just like a no talent ass clown. Mm-hmm. Because Anna was one of the most boring. Damn. He did Fifth Element, right? Love Fifth don't, Element. Don't yeah, I was about love to it. say I love. Fifth and Element. half of La Femme Nikita was really good, but he also did Valerian. And the City of a Thousand, yeah, Valerian. Mm, it was no, not thousand. very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was terrible. It was god off parts of the it. little yeah. parts. <laughs> but he made this movie Anna about this model that's like a double agent, triple agent, and somehow finds it to make one of the most boring spy thrillers I've <laughs> yeah. ever seen. Yeah. Just sitting there going like, this cannot be happening. This guy did Fifth Element. How? How do you make something so bad when you've done so many great things yeah. that I do? I really love? And my, and, and ideas, speaking of assassins, man. I think Blake Lively has one in 2020, or was that last no, year? No, it's just this year. Oh, we might be talking about that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, seven was Gemini Man. It was absolutely awful. It's a movie they started, pl- they, they wanted to film 20 years ago, yeah. right? And so what they did is they That's saved. why it feels 20 years old. Well, they, yeah, because they, they, it was Ang Lee and Will Smith, and they're like, we want to do this, and so they kept the same technology. Rather than go, oh, hey, you know, there's new computers. He's like, no, no, we're going to do it on, on my iMac. <laughs> like, that's, this is how we're going to render this film. And that's why it looked the way that it did. F- uh, six was Dumbo. Uh, just garbage fire. Five was Star Wars. Look, you, I've, I've rewatched Star Wars, and it's terrible, and it's not very good. It, get, it gets worse each time every, you watch yeah, it. Yeah, it just makes you more and more mad every time you watch it. But And then the, the one through four, I will not rewatch. Star Wars, I would and have rewatched. Okay. Four is Hellboy. You there was Damn, no that's up there. You it there's is. no reason for that movie to be that. You bad. wouldn't even watch it for the Baba Yaga. No. Okay. Five minutes, like less than five minutes of a scene that's yeah. cool. I'd YouTube rather watch. <laughs> I'd rather watch uh, anything that Guillermo del Toro did earlier. Mm-hmm. Like it, it just it was terrible. Three was Dark Phoenix. Uh, one of the worst movies of the whole year. Yeah. It's a movie with like the biggest budget. You can tell that they reshot it. You can tell that they refilmed it and redid all these things. Worst action. And they it's terrible. Uh, two was playing with fire. Um, <laughs> This this is one of the worst yeah, things. Yeah, we saw it, it playing together. It is not funny. <laughs> to it fill was. out our list, we go through this for you guys. Uh, I it, didn't see it. I refused to it see it. Was it was god I was awful. Wa- I watched Monos, which was this film that everybody said was amazing, and mm. I thought it was going to go on the best list. No, it was really fucking boring. So Playing with Fire was not like it was not funny. Nope. It assumes that if oh it's for kids. If your kids are stupid, if you assume <laughs> if you if you hate children, <laughs> if you hate children, then you play and then, them this. then you would like. Like, write this ty- type of movie. Like, kids are yeah. not stupid. They understand complex jokes. Right. You give them different kind of humor. You can do slapstick to make them happy. Yeah. These are super low-hanging fruit, not funny for anybody. Mm-hmm. Old uh, reused And I know jokes. that it's a Nickelodeon-produced film, and it's not supposed to be realistic. Man, Nickelodeon is terrible. But it's it's really bad. Because like, Wonder Park almost made my worst list, and that's a Nickelodeon film, mm-hmm. and it was just depressing and awful. Yeah. But if you guys, if that's for, if this is for children, if you hate your children, you guys need to watch Norm of the North. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll pass. And then the worst film that I saw last year was like Not Close Cats. By far the worst thing that I saw. Uh, I would rather watch Cats than Climax. Well, I didn't want to watch Climax. You motherfuckers need to. If I had to do it, what do you motherfuckers no. have to do it? Please, somebody no. out there, waste your money on Climax. Maybe no. one of these people. Yeah, one of you fine people pay money to watch Climax. Tell me how you love it. I don't it. pay for Climax. We did this. <laughs> <laughs> we did this so that you don't have to, but if you are fascinated with the films, we've, we've given you fair warning now. All right, guys? So that was pretty fun. Thank you guys yeah. so much for watching. Thanks to our Patreon and our YouTube Join Button members for making this video possible. If you can find it, uh, the link's down below if you want to uh, directly support the show. And thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.